Right there you see my 38 day uh, litter of Lycan Shepherd puppies. And they're pretty excited because they can smell that. Here you go guys. Get them down here for a second. But there's Kurgan waiting to uh, play cleanup. My dogs do all live in the house. This is going to be a mukbang video. Come along. Okay, we've got some tilapia I've cut in half and a leg quarter. Now once a day with the puppies, I do a feeding exercise like this where I'm teaching the puppies to chew their food and so I'm giving them large pieces of food and having them work together as a team to rip off pieces and chew it up. Got this little cutie today with the piece. I don't think that's the same one as the other day. Now one of the things dogs that uh, eat raw food need to do is they need to learn to properly chew their food. And by giving them large pieces like this and forcing them to chew pieces off, we're teaching them to do that. That is especially an issue with kibble-fed dogs because kibble-fed dogs don't have to chew their food to swallow it. They just basically gulp it down. This is teaching these puppies to do that. Now, if you've seen this over the last few days, this exercise, you'll notice each day they're able to eat more and more. This little sweetie over here. So the other one's in on that one. For those who will say, I thought bones, fish, and chicken bones were dangerous for dogs, that's only uh, cooked bones. Raw bones are perfectly safe. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone, making it brittle and uh, indigestible and prone to causing both perforations and obstructions of the bowel. Raw bone won't do that, but you do want to make sure they are chewing it up. Go to a cleaner spot without all the leaves. Well, some seem more interested in the fish today than the chicken. So we do got a couple on the chicken now. Fish is a prime staple of my dog's diet. I like it because it has the organs and all that uh, inside one neat little package. Full of all kinds of healthy vitamins and oils that they need. Kratos running off with a piece over there. One thing I hate about this time of year is the uh, wasps. Fall in Minnesota for you.
So, Miss Honey Badger, how you doing, little sweetie? She says, I'm alright. Then she runs away and says, Nah, I don't care. <laughs> If you want to learn more about how to feed a raw diet, I've provided plenty of links in the video description. I have a raw food playlist uh, with over 250 videos showing you how to feed dogs at various ages raw food and various different types of raw food I feed them. I ask you to look there before asking me any questions. Most of them will be covered in detail in those videos. over there. I don't want it over here. We don't want it over here, buddy. Penny Badger and Miss Ruka. And you can see just how much exercise they get eating raw food compared to kibble which they just basically gulp down and it's gone I mean they're getting a whole physical workout here dogs that grow up eating raw food have a much stronger bite force and jaw than those that eat kibble for obvious reasons Get this out of the leave area, guys. Look at him, he doesn't want to let go. What's up, buddy? How you doing? He's such a cutie. So 
little man. See just how much these guys have grown. Every day they change. I hope people uh, are enjoying this uh, everyday documenting of their uh, progression here over the first six weeks or so that I'm going to do before they leave. And then it'll be back to uh, my regular videos. So uh, those who are getting impatient for that, uh, that's coming. I only have. Uh, puppies this age for so long so I like to take advantage of that and get as many videos out regarding that for people as I can since I uh, have a lot of knowledge regarding that I've been doing it for 30 years what you doing Miss Ruka See that recalls working pretty good. That's a sweetie. Oh, that's the boy. That's Mr. Mato. You too, you're a sweetie too. There's insistent taking it into all the leaves. Ugh. So it's hard when I got this thing dropping them every day. <laughs> Again, it just gives you a good window into just how fast they develop and how now over the last, this is the fourth day of them getting large pieces like this, how they're learning to dismantle and chew these pieces up. And you can just see how much more effective they've gotten at it with each day. You know, that first day with the chicken wings, they were, uh, you know, hardly making a dent. And, uh, you know, now they basically got this whole leg quarter deboned. Pooper over there. They eat, they got a poop. See, they do nice little hard poops with uh, raw food. And they actually poop a lot less when they eat uh, raw food compared to when they eat kibble. And you know, it's because kibble's full of so much uh, useless fillers in that that it just uh, passes right through them. You know, there's a, creates a lot more volume of waste compared to raw food, which is so much more digestible. Badger, Mr. Kratos. Just Ruka and a couple of the girls over here. 
Mr. Mato over there taking a dump. Now these are very large, large breed puppies, so they can do things uh, at a younger age that uh, you wouldn't be able to do with uh, some smaller breed dogs. So just take that into account when you're trying to adjust this for your own dogs. One moment, I'm gonna clean up the mess the puppy did. Well, now that that's taken care of, See, they're all recalling well. Got one over there going potty. Got one over here in the leaves. Again, look what they've done to that leg quarter. Again, compared to what they were doing just a day or two ago, you can really see how this is getting them effective at doing this and teaching them to chew. Mr. Kratos and Honey Badger. Kurgan over there waiting to play cleanup. Mr. Mato. I really like the personality of this little girl. She's a sweetie. Her ears are just about up. She's got one that's still flopped down a bit. Ruka's got one that's one that's still down too. It's almost up. Sweetie, you're such a cutie. Kratos, leave the bee alone. The bee there, we don't want to mess it with. Should I say a wasp? Hopefully he doesn't sting me. <laughs> Oops, sorry sweetie, stepped in a tail. Oops. Let me give you butter rub. There you go. Everybody, butt rub makes it better. Got some brawling going on now that everybody's uh people are done eating. Better watch out, honey badger don't care. Get her. This, is where, this is where puppies uh, learn about fighting and the strength of their bite. Again, look how much of that leg quarter they've uh, chewed on, and now he's working on chewing on bone, and that's what we want to see. Really got high hopes for this little guy. Yeah. 
head into the secret den over there. There's a space over there that uh, goes up underneath the stairs and comes out the other side that uh, the dogs like to use as a den. Mr. Kratos peeing. Any badger going through some fish? on these guys. <laughs> Not bad for 38 days. Again, that imprinting works. Got some drinkers over here. They're drinking. It's that scrap by the poop bucket. <laughs> See, they're all doing good. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that uh, notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. Put these tongs up here. Check out our new T-string score. Got lots of cool merch there. I sometimes uh, get people who will ask, what do those runes say on your uh, T-shirt designs? They don't say anything. It's the uh, 24 uh, Elder Futhark uh, runic alphabet uh, just written together. So if you wanted to know what the runes say, it's just the 24 Elder Futhark runes. Again, we've got five designs. That's all. Bye from me and the puppies. There's my I'm out nursing the puppies now. Dad finishing off. Some of the fish that's left over. Such a sweetie. Mr. Lobo moving in on the bone. You want that, Mr. Lobo? Lobo, you want that? He says, yeah, I want that. Kriggan says, ah, but I want it. For those who think Lobo's the dominant dog there, you, you just saw he's not. Kurgan just took that. Lobo has a low food drive, so that's why in these eating videos he just kind of hangs back. He's never been a big eater. He's a uh, all play and play drive. All play and play drive. And they're red, buddy. Well, that's all. See ya.